Um, hi everyone, uh, North Jersey Gardening here, giving you another update um, on this nice day today. Um, today is um, Saturday, March 12th, and I brought out uh, the tomatoes and peppers and other greens that I've been growing inside for <laughs> almost two months now. Um, most of them are doing great. A uh, couple of things are not like this guy here, the red orac. It's a red leafy vegetable. I attempted to grow it like this is the third time. I'm going to try again one more time. I'm excited to see what it will look like. Um, it will be a bright red, uh, velvety red uh, color that you can eat. So I'm excited to grow it, but uh, I have been um, not successful for the last couple of times and this is the third time it grew a little bit tall but it collapsed the other day but anyway let me give you an update on the other guys that are doing well um, these two this one here in the big black pot and this one next to it in the other pot are the two black from Tula tomatoes uh, you saw me up pot last time and they're doing great. Um, they were wilted for um, like a day and a half or so. I thought they were all gonna go into transplant shock and not make it, but they uh, rejuvenated again. So they're doing nicely. So this is one black from Tula, and this is the other one doing great. Um, when I potted them, I buried the stem a little bit deeper, and they're they're growing still uh, fairly quickly. Um, but I have them outside now to enjoy some nice sun and I have a little surprise to show you later at the end of the video as soon as I finish my update. Uh, so right here sitting right on the pot of the big black from tomato, uh, black from Tula tomato uh, are the two scarlet kales in this little container. They're doing great also. I think it's almost time to up pot these guys. And right next to it is the watercress love watercress very healthy for you and they seem to be doing okay and i think it's going to be time to up pot them soon um up here where the red orac did not make it are the two mystery tomatoes that got um accidentally um seeded along with the peppers so i have no idea what these guys are but they're growing nicely and i up potted them last time along with the the other ones they're doing well new growths on them um, and I'm excited to see what they're gonna be like whatever they are I'm gonna eat from them that's for sure and this one here is the pineapple tomato and it's growing nicely also these were sown all these guys were sown January 5th and this today is uh, March 12th and uh, I've been taking care of them indoors keeping them nice and warm and giving them as much light as I can and they seem to be doing okay I planted early I was <laughs> excited about gardening uh, so I'm very excited that they did well and I'm gonna start sowing more seeds uh, later on today this is when actually you're supposed to start sowing uh, it's about six weeks before our last frost date so I'm gonna start sowing today uh, to complete the garden so these are the varieties of peppers also that I sown at the same time as the tomatoes. They're doing well also. I up-potted them not long ago and they're doing great. I can't wait to have habaneros, uh, fish pepper, chocolate habaneros. Um, six varieties I think. One Anaheim, this guy, the lonesome Anaheim. <laughs> in this container. Can't wait for them to uh, start uh, flowering and fruiting for me in a few months. Uh, this is the other guys. A mixture of the chocolate habaneros. These have different leaves uh, than the chilies and the uh, uh, anaheims. Uh, see these guys have long uh, pointy uh, leaves. And the stems are growing nice and tall and long. These guys here um, are stubby. They're, they're not growing as tall, but the leaves are broad and beautiful. Look at this. 
and the plants are not growing tall but the leaves are unbelievably broad uh, they're a different kind of pepper this one is labeled chocolate habanero right here um, so I think all of these are chocolate habaneros. They're doing really nice. They're not growing tall, but they're nice and healthy. And um, in these cups, I can see the roots uh, reaching almost all the way down to the bottom. Uh, this is a cayenne. And these three also. They're doing great. So oh, they're loving the wind. It's a little breezy now. It's um, in, in the morning. I was going to take them out earlier, but it was still cold. Uh, it was 35, um, like around 6 o'clock, but now it's almost 48 and it's going to go up to 61 later on, it's crazy, so I took them out. So these are, I didn't show you these before, but I had started sewing, um, I got beans um, uh, f uh, from, um, I forget which country, but they're not from here. Um, but they were old. I was told they're like six years old, so I tried to sow them, but none of the beans grew. But at the same time that I planted those beans, I planted okra and crookneck zucchini. This is uh, the only one that sprouted the crookneck zucchini. Right here, he's doing good. And next to him are the okras. I have other okras that I sown January 5th. They're growing nice and tall also. Um, but these sprout quickly, like within like four days, they're already sprouting out. So I was happy with them. And I have other um, seeds that I sown at the same time. Like I said, beans, but I'm disappointed none of them sprouted. I guess when they reach a certain age and, and they're not properly stored, um, they don't sprout out. But that's okay. It was an experiment. And I, I'll use the containers I uh, sowed the seeds for those for other things I have lots of things to worry about here they are and they're right outside on the little uh, a stoop out I have outside my house and last night I set up this guy <laughs> I love a greenhouse I got because um, it's still gonna get cooler we're gonna have a lot of cooler days before uh, it warms up and I won't have to worry about bringing them in and out um, so this guy, actually I don't know if you can see it here, accumulate a lot of condensation uh, on the inside from the humidity which is great. I have uh, some citrus inside. I know I mentioned once before I'm growing citrus trees as an experiment from uh, a few years ago. I grew them from seeds. I don't think they will do much. But um, they're beautiful and I've been enjoying growing them. Let me open the door for this show you what I have. I actually have quite a few citrus trees um, but only these guys along with a loquat again from seed from Florida I got this guy here is the loquat oh my goodness it's easily very <laughs> warm in there like at least like another 20 degrees oh my god it's like 80 degrees in here wow and it was almost freezing this morning outside. Oh wow, these guys I think are going to do great because they love the humidity. Um, I have an avocado on the other side there with leaves that are browning. Yeah, he's, he wasn't happy with the cold um, and the long winter. And I think he's going to, hopefully, I'm hoping he will rejuvenate and uh, do better in here. And the humidity and the hot heat, oh my god, that's crazy. It's so hot in here, wow. So this is a citrus tree. I'm not sure what it is. I, at the same time, like within the one month or two, I don't know what happened, I went crazy <laughs> saving uh, seeds from fruits that I loved so much. Um, so I have a variety, I'll show you the other ones later, uh, of grapefruits, uh, clementines, lemons, um, growing, but in the last three years or so I lost the labelings so I'm not sure what they are but they're all citrus and I love their leaves and they they have little thorns on them that give me trouble whenever I'm pruning look at that crazy yeah so I pruned these guys uh, a little bit they were growing so tall and they're in containers and it's tough they're, this is like a pretty decent sized pot it gets pretty heavy 
along with the tall branches it became very cumbersome moving them in and out so I just trimmed them a little bit and they say you're supposed to do that to strengthen the trunk yeah, yeah. here's another thing I'm happy about the trunk is turning brown on the bottom I'm very happy about that so I've been taking care of these for three years now I don't know if you can see the other trunk I have two trees right next to each other I have to up -butt these guys. Look at that, beautiful. Turning brown also. If I move up, it becomes greener and greener. And then the little branches are completely green. But I'm happy with these. And this is a low quad. I have, I think, four of them. Uh, they're like um, an apricot looking kind of uh, fruit with a decent sized seed in the middle and that's what I saved. I saved the seed and I planted them and here they are. I have a bunch of them. I'll give some to my uh, brother and actually I may take a couple of plants and take them back to Florida. My sister has a house down there and she's like you keep giving away your seeds why don't you give me? You got them from my house. Give me seeds so I can replant. And this is a mystery plant. I think it's either a peach or a uh, nectarine, I'm not sure. And again, I think it's gonna like this weather better. It just started showing its leaves last week. Uh, not even, like five days. Uh, there's still baby leaves, but they're gonna grow nicely. And I have a couple of mangoes in the back. See, I don't know why I'm growing mangoes in New Jersey, but I did it and they're doing well. These are about three years old also is one. The top leaves always look healthier than the bottom ones, and they flush out healthy leaves um, every spring, so they're doing fairly well. I'm going to take care of them and see what happens. I think they're going to love this little greenhouse I got. I got it on sale. It was $130, I think, but I got it at 50% off. Even more, it was $50. Uh, and there's the other mango, so we'll see. How they do I think they're gonna grow even better here now that I got this greenhouse for them and I won't have to worry about bringing them in indoor so often actually these guys I think can tolerate the temperatures now here in North Jersey and over there um, I have little fig um, I don't know what you call it. I got them from little sticks uh, cuttings from um, a uh, farm, uh, they're growing, um, I forget the name, I'll, I'll look it up for you, um, but these were little sticks, and I started them last year, and they're branched out, they did really well, quite a few of them didn't make it, but these guys did. And I have a whole bunch of them on the other side too, but these are doing well, and they're starting to kind of sprout also. Is the tip the leaves are gonna start to come out any day now look on this other one here next to it wow it's like a hundred degrees in here <laughs> I have the label still on these guys I love to, uh, figs this one is called uh, Violette de Bordeaux and it's doing well look at this it has a little fig this, this is new also. I wonder if I should pull it out or leave it to grow. Wow. Alright, we'll leave. We'll see what happens. And the little leafing out over here. So they're doing good. I think they're going to love this and grow even healthier in this little greenhouse. Let me show, show you another one on the other side. Actually, two on the bottom. Here's this guy. I know they look sad. Let me move them away from the angle over there. Wow, I think they're gonna need to be watered more often in here. And this guy, so you see, I have the label on this guy. 2013, they were started. Oops, I can't read what that says. Oh, this is a Nazarti fig. Um, I got it as a stick also in 2013. And they're doing, they did well last year and they survived uh, growing indoors. So I'm hoping they will enjoy the greenhouse and grow. Uh, they, even though they're small, almost all of them gave me figs 
but they uh, they started falling out the figs uh, before they were fully mature but a, c a couple of them are really really uh, good even though they were not fully mature uh, I have another one down below I have these shelves are prepped for the tomatoes and the peppers what I showed you before I'm gonna put the peppers tomatoes and other vegetables in here but I have another fig tree on the bottom uh, and there's so much condensation already in this oh my goodness Wow, this, I, I think I'm going to, maybe if I sow a lot more seeds, invest in another greenhouse. It's seriously like 50 degree difference in there than uh, out here. Alright, let me um, move the other guys. I'll start moving a couple while I still have you on. Put them in the greenhouse. Are you guys ready? Yeah, it's so much cooler out here. Um, let me see, I think it said 50 degrees is going to be by now. So I'm going to move these guys in, in the greenhouse. I'm sure these babies will appreciate it. They're still very delicate. Uh, maybe I'll start hardening these off and start leaving them outdoors on their own. I'm so excited, oh my goodness. And then later on today, I think I have some free time. I'm going to start sewing. Um, all the seeds, uh, all varieties of vegetables and um, herbs that I have. Uh, you know what, since they're here, let me show you these also. Again, I don't have that much of a property garden, but I'll find spots for everything. So I went crazy and bought these from um, the store. Uh, you don't see them that well, but these are um, goji berries. It's a goji berry plant. Uh, still very small, still in the container I got them in. A little bit. There it is. A little goji berry. They say the fruit is really, really um, healthy uh, for you, full of antioxidants and multivitamins and minerals. So I'm excited to, to grow this. And it says it's called Tolerant uh, to this area. Oh, I can't wait. So they're a pretty good deal. I mean, they're already growing. All the hard work of uh, sowing them and getting them um, to grow was done by somebody else. Uh, all I have to do is take care of them, get good soil for them. See, they're a good deal. $7.99. They're fairly small. Uh, but I'm excited to plant them and um, get the benefits from them. Uh, so here I have a peach tree. It still has no leaves growing on it. Right next to it. And it's in the little um, package wet container for it to keep it healthy. And right next to it I have a blackberry. I love blackberries, and they're full of vitamins and minerals also. And back here, I remember when I was little, my uncle always had uh, all kinds of nut trees, and I used to love picking them, and this has um, got me to buy this one, hazelnut. And again, all these are called hardy to here, which is unbelievable, I never thought they would be. But when I saw that, I'm like, oh, I'm buying you and planting you in my garden. And I'm going to eat from you. Hazelnut, I love it. This one has no leaves on it yet. It still just sticks. But uh, it's well contained in this container. Nice and moist. I watered them a little bit yesterday also. But the uh, branches are pliable. Uh, so I think it's nice and healthy. And strong. And over here, again, because I'm nuts and I think I have time to do all this. But I'm excited. There's a plum tree. Yep, you know, these also. I remember when I was little climbing the trees, plum trees, apricots, nut trees, and picking and eating whenever I got hungry. This one is new to me. I don't know what it is. Um, uh, but um, it's said cold hardy also to this um, area. So I wanted to try it out. I hear about it a lot. Let me turn it. Not Spanish on the other side. Um, it's a gooseberry plant, gooseberry. Again, they were all fairly decent prices, um, but look, they look cute. They're like little striped grapes. 
on there so I'm, ex I'm excited to plant these and grow them I have a couple of grapevines planted from last year they give me a couple of grapes but um, um, not not enough to um, make it worthwhile but again they're also small um, grape vines that I got they didn't have a chance to uh, mature much yet and they were getting used to the soil well this is it guys I'll keep you updated and all all the plants I got the little vegetables tomatoes that I'm gonna uh, keep taking care of in this greenhouse I got uh, I think it's a great investment. I can't believe the difference in temperature outside and inside. Uh, I'm sure they're going to love it. They love the heat. And since I'm here, let me show you my, the lemon tree. A lot of the flowers fell off of it. Um, I left it outside last night and it did great. The leaves didn't wilt or anything. Uh, even though the temperature dropped to just above freezing. Uh, usually when it gets this cold, the leaves wilt and it screams at me why did you leave me out it's crazy um but it's doing great a lot of the it has some flowers but a lot of them it was loaded fell i don't know i guess they were too delicate with the wind or the rain it rained but it wasn't that heavy that strong the rain so i don't know we'll see but it's doing well this is another one that I keep taking in and out, in and out, to protect it from the cold, but I think as the weather improves, this is going to be staying more out than going indoors. Alright, so, well, since I'm here, let me show you everything else I got. I didn't show you these before, but since I brought everything outside and I'm here and they're not that far, let me show you. Uh, this is a rosemary I got from last year. Smells nice. It got little thick sticks and stems, and at, towards the end of the season last year, they were like very uh, hard to eat. But I think with the new growth that's gonna come out, um, I'll eat the fresher ones, and they'll taste better. This is a grapevine cutting I got from uh, my brother. I planted it last year. I didn't think they were gonna make it, um, but just at the end of uh, um, summer beginning of winter they started um, to put out leaves and then it was time to go dormant again uh, but the, I left them in there kept watering them over the winter and they seem to be doing okay there's one and one right behind it same thing uh, and they don't like the cold either and uh, these were left out one day last week where the temperature dropped and the uh, new leafy growth turned brown and um, I think a couple of them fell off they don't like the cold at all so I have to keep taking these guys inside or put them in the new greenhouse all right, well, I showed you the hardy uh, kales and collard greens uh, that I had in the ground surviving the winter um, I didn't mention that I actually took a plant of each um, I dug it out of the ground um, and put them in pots and took them inside to save them uh, in case the ones outside uh, that stayed in the ground in the winter uh, did actually die down I didn't want to lose everything and start from seeds all over again uh, but look <laughs> they're doing great so this is the red Russian kale what a difference my goodness compared to the ones that stayed outside I'm actually going to harvest some of these and make a salad later on. Nice purple stem. Red Russian. This is the Tuscan kale. Doing well. I'm going to harvest from him also. And this tall specimen is the dinosaur kale. Yeah, the dinosaur kale in the ground, um, along with the uh, Georgia collars, did the worst outside in the winter, which uh, I don't blame them. It's, pretty frigid hey. and these two I planted in the same pot are the Georgia collars they're doing great also um, actually one thing I noticed last week um, I, I tipped them they were bolting they were going to flower to seed um, and growing tall and leggy so I clipped the tops off and there they grew side branches look at these they're growing little side growths all of them. This is the 
Georgia collars grow inside branches right below where I clipped them. And this is the other one, Georgia collared. So I'm gonna get more, even more leaves <laughs> for me to eat. Same thing with the dinosaur kale. I clipped the top off and little side shoots are growing. All right, let me show you this guy. Another red Russian kale in another container. Doing great. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get a nice salad from them today. Wow. Nice purpley stem, great. And these guys, uh, I don't even know what they're called, but they're like evergreen uh, bushes. I um, collected seeds from my parents' house uh, and I planted uh, like a ton of them, and only these three survived. And they're about um, maybe two years old, um, and I'm disappointed they died, or I think they're gonna die. I left them out. Um, along with, with these guys, the same pot that the red Russian kale and this dinosaur kale. Um, they were all in the same pot. Um, but the red Russian and the dinosaur kale did okay that same night that I left them out. At, the temperature dropped like around 40. But these turned yellow. I mean, I don't know if they're going to come back. The leaves are ye yellow and brittle. You touch them, they fall off. But the stems are still pliable, so I'm hoping they will come back. Oh, well, we'll see. Yeah, I'm disappointed because these were like evergreen. They grow into nice big bushes. Um, you trip them, trim them into whatever shape you want. My par parents have them as rounded bushes. And this guy is another loquat that I got from seed that I ate from in Florida. This one I did not trim. Uh, I'm actually thinking I sh that I should trim them so the, the stem will grow thicker. But it's doing okay. Uh, these, by the way, are evergreens. It's incredible. Look at these long leaves that they have. And um, I kept them indoor in the winter time and they survived okay. But it's unbelievable to have these beautiful, broad, long green leaves uh, surviving along with all the little sticky fig trees and other trees that lose their leaves beautiful so it has new growth coming out um, I think I'm gonna let these I clipped the other ones other loquats but this one I'm not gonna uh, trim the stem I'm gonna leave it growing but maybe the top growth um, I'll just let a couple of new growths uh, grow but I'll clip the other ones maybe to strengthen the stem a little bit all right, let's scooch on over. This is my herb garden, <laughs> or will be my herb garden. I had uh, all kinds of mints here, chocolate mint, uh, um, oregano thyme, uh, sage growing here. Um, they will come back, the mint will come back, but now they're looking pretty miserable. Uh, and over there I had stevia. I'll show it to you. I'll replant and sh look, they're all dead. They're still sticking up from the ground but they're all brown I don't know if you can make them out yeah but this is supposed to be my herb garden um, along with other I think over there I had some peas sugar snap peas growing they were really good we'll try that again this year uh, but over here I have another loquat that I clipped I pretty much cut them in half um, so these are like four years old or so I've been taking care of them, um, but I want the stem to get thicker and stronger. And, uh, they grow nice and tall, but I don't know. I keep clipping them. They will grow side branch and side branches, and hopefully the stem will get thicker. Over here, <laughs> more avocados. As you can see, the avocado pits here. The trunk is starting to brown up at the bottom. Um, but this, uh, most of the stem is still green. So this guy stayed indoors, obviously. So I have two of them in the same pot. And I have a couple of avocados in the greenhouse right now also. But uh, these are doing better than the one I showed you in the greenhouse. The nice and healthy, strong leaves these guys have. Over here I have another couple of figs. This one... I don't see a label. Nope, here it is. <clears throat> Again, there are still just sticks, but this one has new growths 
starting up on the top. Oops, I'm going to shoot my neighbor. Let's see, so this, oh, is that a little fig? Right there. So I'll keep taking care of them. Again, these were like tiny little sticks um, that I got good soil for them. I uh, kept them moist and they grew indoors, some of them in like little containers, <clears throat> other ones straight in soil, and some of them in just water, I think all varieties. Um, some of them survived, some of them didn't survive in all types of ways that I tried to grow them. Ooh, I could barely make out the label on this one. Uh, this one is Gross Monstrous. <laughs> fig tree <clears throat> and the other one behind it has a nice big fig on it and a couple of little baby figs on this side branch along with a few leafies starting to come out hello aren't you cute so I let the side branches grow they're looking pretty nice I'm gonna keep them clipped um, short I'm not gonna let them grow too long but we'll see how it goes and this guy is <clears throat> Rattlesnake, Rattlesnake Island fig. So I'm excited to uh, taste these and uh, grow them. <clears throat> and this one is a mystery plant. It's, um, it loses its leaves um, every year, but uh, it's nice and healthy. Um, and, but it, and it's getting new growth and the little buds are coming out I have to trim these, it's too wild with all the little side branches <coughs> but it's doing really well again I take care of it, bring it indoors, keep it warm and I, the leaves are gonna start to come out of these bud out and flower, it puts out really pretty flowers again I'm not sure what it is, it's either an apricot I have a label on here but it's faded, you can't read it um, but this uh, during that period I was going crazy and everything I ate that had a seed in it <laughs> I would plant out so it's what kind of um, um, a stone uh, plant apricot, nectarine, peach I'm not sure we'll see but it's doing well um, I have more citrus that I'm still keeping indoors. I wonder if I should bring them out. Uh, but for now, I think this is plenty to give you an, um, a quick update on the guys. Actually, let me zoom over there and show you one more. I know I keep saying we're almost done. <clears throat> so these are the um, Tuscan kale and winterboard kale and dinosaur kale that survived the winter right in the ground. Uh, this is the dinosaur kale, which did the worst. This is the winter boar kale doing okay. They are loving the sun. So I'm gonna see what these guys do. I think that's it. They're gonna survive. It's March uh, 12th now. And if they survive the worst of the winter, whatever comes, they can, they can handle. Okay, so I'll keep you guys updated more. I'm excited about using the greenhouse to... Uh, keep my sprouts and my baby greens before I put them in the ground but this is this is actually my garden right here uh, I could see it last few times it was all full of snow uh, but the tomatoes are gonna go here these are the sunnier spots um, and I put the greens over there and in a more shaded area I have a lot of trees oops, for the plane to pass by <coughs> There I had uh, Swiss chard, uh, spinach, uh, arugula, all growing there, very delicious, and more peppers are going to go here. That's the ghost lemon I showed you last time, it's still nice and ghosty and white, I don't think it's going to come back, poor thing, but the stem is still green, but all the leaves are nice and pretty white. Sorry big guy, but I have a lot of these, I have like maybe... Um, eight more of these inside that I haven't showed you and this is the rest of the garden I might plant uh, zucchini, uh, fennel um, but I'll show you those guys and over there it's too shaded I just keep piling up leaves and sticks and um, 
keep them on the side. I don't know, maybe use, make them uh, compost one of these days. We'll see. This is my little garden area for the vegetables and the tomatoes. And all around, I'm going to plant out, find spots for the trees. All right, you guys. Um, this was a long tour of my garden. I have one uh, uh, grapevine growing here, protected from the deer. The deer come and they just munch on everything. They don't do damage, but they pluck leaves every um, few spots that they travel by. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. I'll keep you guys updated and uh, I'll let you know what new seeds I'm going to plant out, new vegetables, and we'll try to figure out where I'm going to put everything. And again, I'm so excited about the greenhouse. I think this was a great, great investment. I can't wait to start using it to keep everything warm and humid. Uh, what a change in temperature difference in there. Wow. All right, uh, let me guys... Um, um, know what you guys are planning for your garden but uh, this is it yeah. uh, spring is on the way time to uh, start sowing seeds talk to you guys later bye